Hi, I'm Narid Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add hair to your Unreal Engine 5 project, how you can have hair physics with Groom, and how you can apply material to it. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Before we start, please, please, if you want to help me, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. So, first thing to do for adding hair to your character, go to Edit, go to Plugins, and in here, search for Groom, okay? and enable both of this alembic groom importer and groom so we need this plugin this alembic groom importer so we can use other softwares like 3d max maya and blender to create our hair and export it as a alembic file and import it in our unreal engine and with groom plugin we will add some physics to it we will add material to it and all of that so just check both of these and restart your unreal engine 5 but before you restart it enable this and next go to Edit, go to project setting and in here search for skin okay and in here just check this support computer skin cache just check this it is important you should check it and you're done with unreal engine 5 okay so for example i want to add some hair to this character okay so for that open up your content drawer and find the skeletal mesh for this okay so it is in because i'm using starter content it is in meshes mannequin meshes and you can see you can use one of these this is a skeletal mesh right if you double click on it it's just an a skeletal mesh right so you can see it in here and we want to use this skeletal mesh as a reference so we can add some hair to it okay so we need this skeletal mesh for a, just a reference let's just again right click on one of these i want to use this skm queen simple and go to asset action if your skeletal mesh is out of unreal engine just open it you can skip this uh a step okay but if you add it to your unreal engine 5 and now you want to add some hair to it just right click on your skeletal mesh go to asset action and export it and with that you can have uh, the fbx file of that and you can open it in 3d max maya or blender okay i already i already did it so if you click save you have your fbx file i, I don't want to do it because i did it once and now open up your 3d software for example i want to use blender in here go to file import and import the fbx file okay mine is in the desktop and there it is open it and you can see it no it is here let's just delete this cube click on this cube and hit delete on your keyboard no you can see it in here with middle mouse you can go around it and with holding shift and middle mouse you can go up and down left and right and all of that right if you don't know about blender how you can use blender i will show you what you need to know right you don't need to be expert in blender right so in here um if you go here you can see there are some light and camera we don't want them so let me zoom out you can see there is a camera and there is a light in here i don't want them so just delete them we don't need them and in here we have our skeletal mesh if you uh, in this content drawer of blender if you expand this expand this route you can see there is three lod and what is this lod's uh, the lod number two is for phones like android and iphone because they don't have the power of the pc right so if you click on this lod2 and go to edit mode right now we are in object mode and if you go to edit mode we can see all the vertex we can see all the faces and you can see there is not a lot to it right it's like a low polygon object right so we can select them right and there is three mode in here one of them for vertex selection one of them for edge and one of them for face we need the face right so you you can see there is three lod in here and right now if you choose lod2 to create over here the number of the faces in here is a lot less so again let's just go back to object mode and select lod0 and again go back to edit mode and now you can see there is a lot of faces and vertexes right we can use any of them that we want for simplicity i want to delete this lod2 and lod1 i want to use lod0 just leave the lod maybe your character doesn't have those lod's but in this case we have it right so first thing to do just go to object mode and in object mode click on your lod that you want to create some hair on it and now it is selected you can see this um, edge yellow line around it so it's selected right go to edit mode and in here we can select wherever we want a hair on it okay so let's just select this one i want to just box select it okay if i hold shift i can select this side as well and this side as well and with middle mouse i can go around it with holding shift we can go left and right 
right and we can do it like this i want to have some hair at back of his, its head so hold shift to select this back like this let's just add this as well we want hair to be here as well so we want some hair in here so hold shift and select these here and let's just select this one here and you can see some part of it i don't want to have hair so hold shift and click on them you can deselect them and know there won't be any hair on here on there right so that's cool i think these highlighted places i want hair on it okay so for adding hair to it let's just add this one hold shift and select these ones as well and no go to here in this property in here and add a vertex group in here we want to use that vertex group in our hair particle to tell it to just grow those hair in this place right so click on plus in here it creates another group double click on it change change its name to hair or whatever you want to call it right i want to call it hair and i know i want to assign all of these faces that i am selecting it to this vertex group click on assign and you if you want to make sure that it's selected it assign it correctly just deselect and select and know you can see all the faces that we want to have hair is assigned to this hair vertex group right so now we have our vertex group let's just go to object mode select our skeletal mesh like this and go to particle in here and add the particle double click on it and change its name you, you don't need to change its name but it's it always better idea to call everything right right so i will call it hair and i want to change the type of it to hair and you can see it creates hair all around our uh, skeletal mesh but we don't want we don't want that right so we should go here to vertex group and in here we want to tell this particle system in blender to just create our hair on the this vertex group that we create that we call it hair okay so let's just click on that and now you can see the hair is just growing on the vertexes that we select the face that we selected before right everything is cool and in here there are some options how many hair you want to add in here so in here for example i want to change the hair length to one meter for example okay and now we have some cool hair on it it has 1000 hair on it okay i think it's not that a lot but um you should keep it as at a number so you limit it to a number so it won't uh, slow down your game okay now we have our hair what what i what we can do we can groom it right so if you go here in object mode you can change it to particle edit okay and this is the tool that you want to use comb okay and for changing the size of that you can change the radius in here no we can groom it like this okay that's not it so let's just do it like this rotate to see it this way as well that way is not cool at all so just play with it and i think your 3d designer should design this for you not you and let's just do it for these ones as well so don't worry about it if you don't make it good in here in Arial Engine. In Arial Engine 5, you can do a lot with it, okay? Let's just use this, um, for example, this cut hair in here and cut some of them like this, okay? We have a lot of options. We can do it in Arial Engine as well. So let's just do it in here like this. I want to bring it up a little bit in here. So let's just click in here to bring all of this hair a little bit up, okay? Let's just rotate it and do it for this side as well. You can play with that <laughs> as much as you want, right? I want to ex export this hair and use it in Arial Engine 5 and groom it there. I don't want to do it, do anything in it in here. So for that, let's just go to object mode again in here. You can see we have our hair now. And the most important thing in here, you wanted this skeletal mesh for just a reference. You don't need to export this skeletal mesh again, right? You don't need that. So how you can do it? You can just uh, delete it in here. No, you can do it. But in this particle page in here, just search for show emitter and deselect this show emitter in this and this as well okay after you deselect these show emitters now you can export just the hair right so click on your lod in here go to files go to export and in here you need to export it as a alembic file because groom plugin in Arial engine 5 use alembic file for hair right click on this alembic file and in here i want to call it hair okay and the important thing in here you should change the scale to 100 so whenever you want to export a alembic file to unreal engine 5 if you don't scale it it will give you an error and you can't um, bind it to your uh, character right if you don't scale it to 100 and another option in here for the frames because we don't have animation for that in here we should tell it it's just have one frame so frame start is one and end is one and in here i want to tell it to exp 
sports selected and visible object and we don't need any uv we don't need any normal we don't need this coordinate okay and the most important option is this export hair and export particle and you're good to go just click on export alembic and know it is exported now you can go to unreal engine right click click import and select your hair in here and the most important thing in here because i added a lot it's remember those value that i put in here because blender use x its own origin for x y and z and unreal engine use its own origin for x and y and z whenever you want to import something from blender to unreal engine 5 you should put a, a x rotation of 90 and a scale of minus one just remember this always you should do that so for x you should put 19 and for the scale y you should put minus one if you don't do it it won't be a place on your head of your skeletal mission okay hit import and it will be imported in here okay double click on it to open it and now we can see our hair our hair right now the thickness of our hair is not that a lot so what we can do about that for you it should be like this there are some property in here just expand it and now you can see there are some physics in here and the most important one is this strand okay the hair width right now it's a lot small so let's just increase that and now you can see our hair is in here and we can change the hair tip scale because our hair um, at the root it's thick but at the end it's not thick okay so let's just decrease this hair tip scale to something less and now you can see it right and everything i think is cool and now let's just go to physics so apply some physics to it let's just collapse everything in here so you can see it clearly on sol solar setting just enable this okay and now you can see it has uh, physics applied to it right everything is cool you can change a lot of things in here for example the gravity vector right now the gravity is this much but you can increase it or decrease it however you want if you want to change the air direct so resistance when it's going to fall down the resistance of the air you want you can um, change it the air velocity you can change that as well and there is a lot of things in here but i don't want to talk about it in this video because there is a lot of options in here that we can use just save this and in the future videos if you want i will We'll talk about all of these options in detail so go to again to content drawer and open up your blueprint in here okay the blueprint that we want to use this one okay when we play it this is our uh, skeletal mesh that we use in our game right so just open it and in here go to viewport and in viewport just click on your mesh we want to add a groom to it right click add and search for groom add it and you don't need to name it okay just select your groom and you can see you can set the groom asset and binding asset if you just uh, let's just go down in here so we can open up our content drawer our hair is in here and we can drag and drop it in here now you can see our hair in here but there is a problem right now if we compile it and go to our project and run our game you can see it's not attached to our skeletal mesh so what we can do about that so let's just go to our content drawer in here you should create a bind asset for that right click on your hair it's easy just click on create binding and in here choose the target a skeletal mesh you remember we use this skm queen simple click on it and create it you don't need to do anything for that just close it and now go back to your blueprint in here you can see there is a, a slot in here for binding asset so we did create this binding asset in here just drag and drop it in there compile it and now if we run our game now you can see we have our hair in here it has physics and everything is cool right <laughs> everything is cool so now let me show you how you can use um, material on it okay so we can have a lot of cool things with the material so let's just save it with ctrl shift s to save everything and now go here and create a new material in here i want to call it m hair okay so i'll click on it to open it and the most important thing in here you should click on it and in this shading model click on it and change it to hair okay and with that we can have emissive color as well if you don't know about emissive color just watch my playlist of video about material you will learn a lot we did a start from scratch to advanced stuff in materials right so now the next important thing to do you should go down in here and in here check this used with hair strands just check 
take this and now we have we can set this material for our hair okay so let's just create a tree vector in here put it on base color and let's just make it red okay make it red for example and now if we save it and if you go to our hair now in material tab in here we can click on the here and set a material for that so for example the hair material that we just created and now you can see it is red let's just save it and run our game and now you can see the hair is red and it's beautiful right the physics on it is perfect okay so next thing that i'm gonna do like always do i'm doing it with materials i want to use emissive color in, for our hair okay so it glow light okay it's beautiful so for having this emissive color i want to use this and i want to multiply this by a, a scalar color let's just multiply it by this and change the value of this to 10 for example and connect it to emissive color no let's just save it and use it so now you can see it glows some light right so if we overdrive this 10 it will glow more light but let's just leave it at that no let's just play our game and game and you know you can see it glows some light in here and it is beautiful right so again let's just go to our hair in here and overdrive it more like 100 save it again and now again if you run our game you now you can see it glow more light and it's beautiful right please please if you want to know more about this groom plugin let me know in comment and i will create more video about this groom okay and this hair physics please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye